In this video, we're going to go over how to start traveling. So traveling can be a really scary thing. A lot of people are afraid to travel, especially by themselves for the first time. And you definitely don't have to travel by yourself for the first time if you want to do some backpacking. You can always find a good friend to go traveling with, or you can go on a booked trip, or you can go do some humanitarian work in a foreign country, do some missionary work, all kinds of different things you can do um, to kind of get used to or get it, get your traveling comfort level, you know, kind of going. Another big thing is uh, comfort zone challenging. Like when I was starting to travel more, it's kind of like, being comfortable with being uncomfortable and pushing yourself, you know, past past your comfort zone limits. Um, the more you do it, though, it's the easier, the easier it, you know, it gets. So how how do you go about start traveling? Well, the first thing is you got to commit to it. So you got to commit to the idea that you're going to go travel. You're going to go to a new place. You know, you're going to go see somewhere else in the world. Go go to a different country with a different culture. Uh, the second thing you got to do is you have to plan a little bit. You do have to plan on, you know, maybe your flight there and back and maybe some of your lodging. So say you're going to a new country by yourself for the first time. And let's just say you're from Ireland. If you want to go somewhere new, I would recommend going to from Ireland, maybe Spain or Germany or the US or Iceland, you know, somewhere not too far away, somewhere kind of Western world, you know, modern and whatnot, not third world country yet. And, you know, say it's the beginning of the year, like January, the right it is right now, like the way it is right now, um, commit to say, I'm gonna go travel for two weeks. So maybe halfway through the year, you have, you know, vacation for summer, or you have time off from work. You know, you can take two weeks off. All right, so you've committed to going to a new country, you planned when you're gonna go, and then you just gotta get your tickets. And tickets are really the only thing you have to worry about once you have your flights, everything falls into place. You get there, you book a hostel, a hotel, whatever it is. Um, you don't have to plan everything too, too detailed, um, too into detail, but you can. But it really the big biggest thing is to start traveling is committing to traveling, planning a trip, and then going out and doing it. So it's really just three things, um, you know, committing to traveling, planning it, and then going out and doing it. And and then once you start doing it, it's it's really addicting. Um, it's super freeing. It's it's like it's just it's just really hard to explain unless you start doing it. But it is it's so much fun. Uh, I don't know if you can tell. I'm getting kind of excited about it because. Um, pretty soon here in about 40 something days I'm gonna get to go start traveling again. I know I'm not in my home country but um, I'm gonna be getting to, to go on the road for six to nine months, maybe 12 months. I don't know if some things go really well I can continue to do it more and more. If you guys want to just start traveling I mean biggest thing is just go out and do it. Anyway this has been NST Never Stop Traveling and if you guys really enjoyed this video um, let me know what you liked about it, what you don't like about it. Um, what I can improve on. If you want to see more videos about how to travel and travel hacks and my travel vlogging, which is going to start going on more and more, um, subscribe on the subscribe button, wherever it is. And uh, peace out, guys. Take care.